soy Melina Vicario, la biohacker, reportando directo desde la Conferencia Mundial de Biohacking en Los Ángeles, en el Beverly Hilton. Y hoy estoy con el biohacker de Europa. Su nombre es Tim Ray y va a compartir tips prácticos con nosotros. Tim, thank you so much for being today with us. Thanks for having me. So, how do you describe biohacking? What is biohacking? There's many ways of describing it. My favorite way is saying uh, using technology to mimic a natural environment in an unnatural world. And <laughs> yeah, clear and to the point. Mm, mm. And which are your top five favorite free biohacks? Mm. I like to take things back to basics because everything, as I say, mimics nature. So whether it's blue blocking glasses to block out blue light to stop the brain being awake at night, or whether it's red light uh, therapy to help stimulate healing, which is mimicking sunset, um, they're all around nature. So my favorite one is obviously hacking my sleep because that has the most immediate effects. My talk yesterday actually started with sleep as number one biohack. And I have 15, around 15 different things that I do to optimize my sleep, um, starting from a grounding bed sheet. Uh, so um, that's one, using essential oils like lavender, obviously tracking it with the aura ring, which is one so I can gamify my sleep, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, um, as well as um, using a complete blackout blind so that the room is pitch black. Um, using blue blockers the night before or true dark before bed using red light therapy um, after 6 p.m. There's a whole host of, ho of things for sleep optimization. Hydration optimization is my second favorite biohack. And using the right minerals opposed to just drinking more water is, again, a really quick win for people. And I think if you don't get sleep right and you don't get hydration right, there's no point doing all the others, uh, taking all these supplements and optimizing your gut bacteria and optimizing your genetic variations and things. You've just got to get those two things right before anything else. Yes. And which are your favorite paid biohacks? I like hyperbaric oxygen therapy. That's oh. my favorite of all. Right. I think it's a very, very quick win because it's, um, I think it's my fourth most important basic within biohacking is, is uh, oxygen because we're, we're dead very quickly without it. So <laughs> optimizing that and having it efficient is a quick win. So hyperbaric oxygen therapy is a quick way to get more oxygen into your cells and help your body work quicker. I find it's very good to make the brain switch back on as well. Um, so that's one, I mean, the, a common one is breathing exercises, which if you do that over a period of time, obviously it helps fuel your body better. Which uh, one do you like? Wim Hof, Wim Hof, of Wim course. Hof. Who doesn't, who doesn't love, love who doesn't Wim live, love Wim Hof? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's an amazing character. Um, I'm really hoping to get him to London for the summit. Really like his, uh, yeah, his, yeah. Um, so yeah, but hyperbaric oxygen therapy again. It's using technology to mimic a natural environment in an unnatural world. So if you if you're living in a city and the oxygen or the air quality is a lot l lower uh, than in the countryside, and you're deficient or you're starved of good clean air, then having hyperbaric oxygen therapy is a good top up, again, to make your body start healing quickly. Mm. And do you have um, some favorite supplements? Yeah, I do. My favorite actually of all is niacin, and I take 50 milligrams before I go to bed. Because I've been working on um, my MTHFR uh, gene variation, so that's uh, methylation processes, that kind of wakes the brain up somewhat and can keep you awake at night. If you take niacin, I find that calms the brain very, very nicely. And ever since having niacin before bed, half an hour before bed, 50 milligrams, um, as soon as my head's on the pillow, I'm asleep. So it's, that's my favorite of all, actually. Yeah. Um, I, do, I do really like um, a product that Christopher Shade from Quicksilver Scientific um, has brought out, along with Cell Nutrition, which is uh, a mineral supplement, so it's a salt, salt water basically from the sea, but it comes from sea plankton. So it's got 78 different minerals in it. So you can just have that as a top up if you're feeling dehydrated, which means that you don't have to drink so much water um, to get the minerals. It means that you can have a top up of minerals. So that's my second favorite supplement of all. Again, basic, basic bringing it back to nature, which is just minerals. Yes. Mm. And 
generally I get the question of, wow, biohacking is exciting. How can I become a biohacker? I want to be a biohacker. Mm. How would you re reply this question? Um, it's a very good question. I think biohacking is, I guess, partly quantified, part of the p quantified self movement, a separate part of it, I think. And where that, what that means is it's quantifying everything that you do. So I think why biohacking's got so big is partly it's fashionable, sure, and bulletproof coffee is awesome and keeps people from being hungry until after lunch and your brain switched on. But um, I think, one, it's trendy, but two, because it's quantified. Like, for instance, you're saying, well, actually, I've added niacin in before bed, and I've added a grounded sheet, uh, a grounding bed sheet, and I've used lavender oil in a diffuser, and I've done this, that, the other, and a blackout blind, and now I know that my sleep score and my aura shows that I'm in the mid-90s, um, which is a high score. Um, yeah, so I know that all these things I'm doing are working. And it's the same as if you're adding in mineral supplements and you, you're monitoring your blood test results um, for your level, level um, I guess, your electrolytes in your blood. You can see that things change as a result of changing these things, and it's quantifiable, opposed to just taking a supplement for the sake of taking a supplement. So uh, I've gone one step further recently, which is um, I've gone into metabolomics, which is uh, intercellular medicine. And that's looking at the body on a cellular level to see what actually your cells are starved of or what you're deficient of on a cellular basis. So you can then say, well, actually, I've got no manganese um, low and I need some alpha lipoic acid, et cetera, et cetera. So you can supplement exactly what your body needs opposed to guesswork. So that's why biohacking is so good, because people get healthy pretty quickly um, but it always comes back to the basics, the, the nature side of things. Um, but the quantified, quantified part makes it fun. Yeah, because you, you just know, you know it's working. It's you not only feel, do you feel great, you can see it in the data. And a lot of us biohackers are quite geeky um, and into computer science and things like that, which <laughs> is where it came from with Dave Asprey in the first place. Yes. But yeah. And what about the mindset of a biohacker? We're all, all in or nothing types. Like, a lot of biohackers are tunnel vision for their goal. That's it. They're, it's either registers on their radar and they're completely all in, or they don't even notice something. So a lot of, uh, a lot of biohackers are solution-focused. They want to find a way around it. Yeah, and it's like, for instance, if you're getting migraines, okay, why? Let's figure it out. Let's resolve those. Or if you've got a low immune system, let's figure it out. As opposed to just saying, okay, well, I'm just going to take a painkiller for it. But that, that stops the symptom, sure, and that's good in the short term, but in the long term it's not necessarily a great move. Um, so I think it's one, being growth mindset, trying to find solutions to things, um, and two, being an all-in or nothing type, because you know your goal and you're going to go for it until you find it. And I think that's why I got into the space originally, because once when I asked the doctor, you know, what's wrong with me, why, why is this happening, he shrugged his shoulders and said, I, we've done everything, I can't help you. And so at that moment I kind of went, I'm going to take it into my own hands and, and I'm going to research the hell out of this, which I did uh, for years actually, until I realised there was such a thing called biohacking um, and got into the whole biohacking space. Yes, that is amazing. And first, thank you so much for all this wonderful information. Mm. And how can we know more about you and mm. the summit that you're organising? Um, so um, I'm mainly active on Instagram. As, all, as most people, I think it's quite a positive platform. Um, <laughs> it's Tim Biohacker UK is my Instagram handle. And uh, for the summit, it's Health Optimization Summit um, on Instagram. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs>